Hi there, I'm Bulia and today we're going to look at something called fatigue posture, which is actually more common in people with dance training than those without. So if I turn to the side for you, what we tend to look for with good posture is shoulders stacked above hips, hips stacked above the knees and then above the ankles there, and your weight would be nice and even in your feet. Now with fatigue posture, it can still feel like your weight is even on your feet because your hips have started to push forward over your to toes, but to compensate, you've actually brought your shoulders behind your hips here. And another thing that can happen is that you can really round into your shoulders like this. So what is actually happening is that you're not using your postural muscles at all. You're not actually using any kind of muscles to hold that position. You are resting on your ligaments instead. And that can cause far too much wear and tear on them that we don't need. So how do you retrain yourself with this? Well, the first thing is to be aware of it. Check yourself sideways on in a mirror and think about lining those points up. If you need to, you can get some big stickers and stick them on your thighs, your knees, your hips, just to try and see where the bones are to line you up there. So we want to think about shoulders being stacked above the hips, hips stacked above the knees, knees stacked above the ankles. For belly dance posture, we tend to bend into the knees a little bit, think tail down and tummy engaging like so. So in fatigue posture, if you're still maintaining this whilst you're trying to dance, there'll still be this push forward of the hips and the shoulders coming back like this. So as I say, it actually feels like your weight is even on your feet because your hips have come over your toes and your shoulders have gone behind. But you're going to end up with a lot of lower back trouble. You're probably going to have a fair bit of neck pain, a bit of shoulder pain, and you're going to find it really hard to do your shoulder shimmies very, very hard with the shoulder shimmies with your shoulders back behind your hips. So it's better for your spine if you can think about having shoulders above the hips there. And it might feel for quite a while that you're feeling like you're falling forward with this. But just keep checking yourself in the mirror. Keep thinking about using your stomach, engaging the stomach to try and get you there. And then thinking about your shoulders forward and back. Now, if you just try the exercise of just bringing it back here, you'll find that it's not as easy to do the shoulder shimmy in that position. So coming up, it's a lot easier. You haven't got to take all the weight in your lower back for that. If you do have a postural issue, it does take an awful lot of brain retraining to get it sorted. So your best bet in, is to actually consult a professional, such as an Alexander Technique teacher or a belly dance teacher, and they will help you no end with this. But of course, there's an awful lot that you can do on your own, but just having that um, second opinion can help, can pay dividends.